Hello everyone and welcome to this video lecture of InDesign lesson number 4. I'm recording this lecture on as on behalf of Z Institute of Creative Arts Zika Malad and Zika Borivali. We are going to discuss today about the essential options to be created inside the InDesign. I'm going to tell you some of the important options that we'll be using while going through creating a tabloid, broadsheet, magazines and all those stuff. So first I want you to be familiar with those options. I want you to focus completely on designing a newspaper when it goes away. Now in this one we will not be discussing about the newspaper. We'll discuss about the essential menu options that we have it here in the InDesign. The very basic option that you need to understand is how to change the units. For that you go to edit, you go to preference, you go to units of measure and then you can change that to let's say points you can go for centimeter or whatever according to your requirement if I'm designing a newspaper so I usually take centimeters because that's the scale percentage which I have with me okay I'll come to that later then we will go to uh, millimeters okay fine millimeters I'm just choosing up randomly there's no reason behind that now when I make an object now to resize them I can do it with the help of mm I can make this as 500 by 500 mm or I can do take that as a I just hit tab for that 50 by 50 mm okay so it's up to you another next essential option in the file is of course the library and a book I'm not talking about creating new document that's very basic even everybody knows it no need to teach those options now over here we will take a type tool and I'll create a heading little bit heading kind of a thing here so I'll just write down graphic times okay and I'll increase the font size up to 80 and I'll change the font over here this would be pretty good enough graphic times I'll give it a center alignment okay I'll put the text box up to here then I'll draw the flag and stuff and then we will place it right up here and then we will simply put up a green color then we can move for make it this one as a hidden one I want to bring this forward now see I want to bring graphic times forward so I'll go to object I will go to arrange bring to front okay right and then I want to use this every day in time every day every day when I create newspaper this has to be there multiple places it's pretty hard for me to remember the dimension the placements and the y-axis and x-axis and the placement between this and all it's it's too hectic so what we will do is we'll convert this into a library okay we'll convert this into a library so it becomes reusable product it becomes reusable graphic design so we will go to file new and then we'll go to library it will be saved uh, separately by the different extension as well I'll make a new folder I'm saving it on desktop because after the lecture I'm going to delete it but you never ever save anything on desktop let it be the name library itself okay it doesn't mean that your graphic is saved inside the library your library is created and you have the library palette in front of you you select it and then hit new it will be included inside whatever you select only that will be included after that when I go to a new file a new document I will close the library first okay or let's say I will close even this one I don't want to save this file I'll close this one I don't want to close save this file I'll create a new document inside new document I need that heading so I'll go to file new I'll go to library inside library I will click on this option double click nope okay see if it's not getting open then you go to file open file open we are in new folder 3 library double click and open you will get your 
reusable graphic again you just drag it here and you move it out here same way you created the new document file new document create and then you can get it here so same dimension everything is same and you can use this n number of time another essential option is book also but for the book I need multiple documents so let me save the documents in front of you and then I'll tell you how the book works another commonly used option is the margins and columns margins and columns first I will say margins we will say 5 or 4 it's not able to see there because it's no preview available there right 5 margins ok I'll put it out for 4 margins and spacing between the margin is called gutter it's not called gutter many of the people in our country has a habit to call a gutter because it's a gap in between two of a kind of a street sort of thing but it's not a gutter just a g-u-t-t-e-r gutter so gutter size I'll keep it out it's in the mm so I'll put it out 0 0.3 mm ok randomly I'm choosing up now I want to write see when you're doing practice of newspaper then layouting would be seen layouting would be judged they won't judge the typing speed they won't judge the what content you have kept they will just see your layout as a graphic designer because content will be ready made available to you now when you come here and I want to get a ready made content so I will go to type fill text with a placeholder I will go to type fill text with a placeholder I will put it here and I will keep it till here then again we will go to type and then we will say fill text with a placeholder and then again after that when you see this red dot which is auto flow it means the text is there but there is no space we have not enough of space here so what we'll do we'll click on this red dot and we'll drag the text box here so it'll be continued even if you change the font and all you press enter see it will be continued okay imagine this is your heading imagine this is your heading we can imagine because it doesn't look like a heading now what I want to do is I want to format all the headings in my page with the same dimensions with the same font fi font face I'm sorry with the same font face with the same font styles and all the stuff for that one I will make my own piece of uh, designing together for the fonts for that we will go to type and inside the type we will go to character styles okay and inside the type we will go to character styles inside character styles I'll create the new double click here give a name as a heading and then you come here decide the font which font you want to apply I'll just choose randomly anything I don't know what surprise will come in front of me and the font size I'll keep more not more than 12 kerning and leading I don't want to play with that of course the color I'll keep it blue then I'll do it ok you can see heading has been captured now whichever part is my heading I will select them I'll click here you will get that stuff if you want to edit you can do right click and you can say edit the heading because I'm not happy with the font size it should be more okay so I'll keep it for 14 at least okay select apply the heading here again select here apply the heading select here wherever is your heading I'm considering this is my heading I'll take it here I'm considering this is my heading so you don't have to write in a book of a piece of a paper or somewhere that this is a font size this is the font face and many stuff okay you can simply move it with this okay so this is how you can save your character styles okay same way you can do it for the paragraph styles that you will try it no spoon feeding <laughs> okay thereafter as we move further I want to get some more fonts I want to get some more text over here so I can just press enter and I will go to type and then I will say fill text with a placeholder okay now this is a text this is a text if I change a computer then if this font is not installed in that particular computer either it will show some blocks similar font or an error message 
Now, similar font doesn't work. Every day, a logo which copyright has been given to you has to be the same. Okay, every day it has to be the same. So I want to make sure that when I change the computer, I should not get uh, get in the maze of installing font again and again. I should not get that error only of missing font. But for that one, you should be sure that the graphics will not be edited. Your text will not be edited. If you are sure that this is a final, you are sure that okay, edit is not final. Hai. तो सेलेक्ट करके इसको ऑब्जेक्ट में कन्वर्ट कर दीजिए ओके सेलेक्ट एंड कन्वर्ट दैट इनटू ऑब्जेक्ट टू डू इट सो वी विल गो टू टाइप ओके वी विल गो टू टाइप एंड देन वन ऑफ माय फेवरेट ऑप्शन व्हिच वी हैव इट हियर इज द क्रिएट आउटलाइन ओके सी आई कीप अ टू टेक्स्ट फॉर योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वन इज अ टेक्स्ट एंड वन विल बी कन्वर्टिंग इनटू क्रिएट आउटलाइन we'll go to type and then we'll go to create outline as we converted this into create outline so it becomes a object you cannot modify this you cannot perform the typographical options like leading tracking and kerning you can't do that at all and in this one you can do it because that is still the text so whenever you complete your work make sure that the main heading and everything is converted into graphic so there won't be a error of missing fonts after that discussing about the font if the instruction comes later on that this paragraph has to be all words in capital this paragraph all words first letter should be capital then we cannot sit and edit what we will do is we will select this option then we'll go to type okay we'll go to change case and then we'll say upper case we will select this font this paragraph we will go for type we will go to change case and we'll say the title case i'll do control minus little bit zoom out we will select till here we will go to type change case lower case so it will be everything in the lower letter right so you can change it right across after that I want to place a photograph in between here. Of course, there is no use of the stuff without a photograph. <laughs> okay, so we have to need to place a photograph. So, photograph ki bina koi aapki image dekhega bhi nahi. So, always keep a photograph over there. I'll keep this photograph, a healthy photograph. When I keep photograph here, then you can see it is coming, but it's hiding the text. Okay, yahan pe auto flow hai. It means text hai. So you click here. and again you drag and drop the text box here fine so i want text to make a space i want a text to make a space for my image to do it so we will go to windows and in that the text drop option which is already on i'll close it and reopen it again for your understanding text drop option will come to here in this one there are multiple types first is the text drop second is around the text so we'll just see here in the first option it is very stiff second option it makes a space third option it makes more space and the option where there is no text beside in this option no text below no beside okay so this option through the text is very important and you can also keep a space here as it's an mm so it will be very much properly going and slowly moving here as you can see the text is in moved over here if you increase the image size the text will be moved even more see now to fit image to the frame we'll do alt control e wait a minute to fit image to the frame we'll do alt control e okay fine it's not going for the stuff right now which we is there already in which is there already in which is there already in the text box format so i'll just show you this later on okay now ahead of the stuff if i'm taking some object which is in the png format so we'll go to file place okay here are the chocolates but it got replaced so we don't want to replace this chocolates we'll do control z okay we'll put it ahead make sure that the image is not selected you go to file you go to place and then you place a chocolate it's too small 
will increase the chocolate size and do alt control e it'll fit it here now after that i will go to text crop option c it's coming here but this is a waste of a space for me i want while reading the news the image should be seen then i'll go to through text it came little nearby but i want exact nearby so i will go to type and select the alpha channel for the alpha channel i'm sorry i just moved the image rather than just taking it with the help of selection tool okay see will come through the text we'll see do it again i'll delete this image i'll delete this frame as well i will take file place and then alt control e it's already proper okay we'll make it more bigger alt control e now when i place this photograph here so i want text to make a space for the photograph we'll click it here see then we'll go through text and then you take alpha channel so see okay so it will be the way it look like said so usually you will to see this effect in bombay times where the prima donna the leading personalities photographs has been kept and uh, text is flowing around that option okay this was a few main options that will be using throughout making the tabloid and the broadsheet newspaper okay so this is just my small try of showing you what are the essential options i'm not yet done with the lecture i told you about the book option as well so let me tell you that first let me save this file okay we'll go to file we'll go to save as on desktop i have a new folder 3 i'll save this file as a01 and then i'll close it i'll save this file as a02 then i will close this file too now i'm creating a new file like that see you're working in the newspaper industry in a day you are supposed to design 10 pages so in let's say in a month you design somewhere around 300 to 250 pages if next month somebody will ask you about certain 2 to 3 pages because they want to get some designs from that pen it would be difficult for you to find so better to club all your files together better to keep all your files like a index in the page so you can access it like click of a button away okay that option will be allowed by you using the book option book option will club all your related files together whichever you want whenever you want you can click on that option and you can access that particular file to do it so we will go to file we'll go to new we'll go to book we'll go to desktop and we'll save this inside the new folder book one is completely fine your book now we did not selected the file we will select the file right now we'll click on the plus sign i'll select both of this file i don't want to access those files right now so i'll close that yes save the changes whenever i want i'll go to file open we'll click on the book one double click on this file see double click on this file it doesn't matter where it is saved it will just open okay so you can create a book of each and every day or each and every week or something like that so it will club all your files together and you can access that whenever you wants to okay these are some of the essential options that we are going to use using the in design in next lecture i'll tell you about the master page right till that time please do the practice of all the options that i have taught you in today's class stay safe happy learning